I'm working on a uh, 1989 650SX. Um, when I got the jet ski, um, customer thought the motor was seized. Um, pulled the motor out and the starter was frozen. Um, that was part of the problem, but the actual problem, he heard a bunch of noise and all of a sudden the motor shut off on him. And what actually had happened was the impeller itself actually unscrewed. And if you look inside the housing, let's see, I think that scratched up pretty good. The impeller came off and uh, it was actually looked like it's a new impeller, a stainless steel impeller and it was scraping on the sides. Um, this is the second one I've seen like this. Um, people on e on YouTube are saying, oh, just tighten it up by hand. You need to torque these things, guys. If you don't torque them, the impeller can come loose. Um, I'm not sure if it's when a rock gets stuck, it seizes and then it loosens, or if it's the force of the water, I'm not sure, but this is the second one I've seen. Um, so anyway, um, also the seals on these, I was going to show you, but I already got the impeller on the seals, the, um, seals. Let's see if I still have one here. I think I have an extra seal here. Here's a seal. These seals should face, there's a little spring that would go inside of here. That face is out. There's two seals. They both face out. The flat part goes in. Um, towards the inside of the bearing and the spring part faces out okay so um, and then you want to torque this to 72 foot pounds okay and uh, once it's all tight that's what it should be also when you put the bearings in these things um, on the bottom not on the impeller side on the other side you want to hit that bearing all the way in as far as it'll go until it stops and then you come to this side and you hit it in until it bottoms out on the um, the spacer and then put your seals in and then go back down to the bottom again and make sure it's still all the way in because um, even though there's a stop on the bottom of the um, the the stator here um, they're not always true so they say you want to make sure that it's bottomed all the, all the way on the bottom the force of the engine always pushes in this direction towards the impeller so it'll be in the right location and then you take a feeler gauge and you can stick a feeler gauge between the housing and here and um, it says two to three th thousands but the maximum salvageable is six thousands five to six thousands so if you're doing a brand new wear ring brand new impeller it should be about two to three thousands but if you're dealing with a worn one and you're just checking it as long as it's not more than five or six thousands you should be okay so anyway this is a special tool I have here I bought it on eBay for about eight dollars it goes in here and uh, I have it on the vise on the bottom there um, holding the bottom shaft bolt and now I can torque it with my torque wrench to 72 foot pounds and then this thing's ready to go back in so but it's really important you guys that you torque these things down because they do come loose and you will damage your wear ring you can damage your brand new impeller I've seen it done twice now so um, torque it down alright hope this helped